Hello friends, Coach Bob here and today, welcome to part two of Daytona Bike Week 2020. We're going to be looking at the Harley Davidson Street Fighter, the Pan America, the Livewire, Main Street, get some grub, and then grab a nice sweet ride home. Enjoy it. Here we go. All right, so the engine you're looking at here is the engine for the new Harley Davidson Bronx. It's uh, actually what they call a street fighter or as we call in the old days, a naked bike. And uh, you know, that's what I ride in my uh, Triumph Speed Triple. Uh, the engine is a 975cc uh, liquid cooled dual overhead cam engine. They say it's going to produce between 110 and 120 horsepower. Now, although that's really not that impressive, the 120 to 130 foot pounds of torque could end up being very impressive. Um, it is has a six speed transmission and is uh, propelled by a belt drive, which, you know, for a naked sport bike with uh, that sort of torque, I would think that a chain might be a little more appropriate. That said, the Harley engineers are a lot smarter than I am. Now the bike, as far as top speed, it shows uh, on everything that I could find was showing a margin of 105 miles per hour to 118 miles per hour. With that sort of torque, getting there quickly can make it really, really cool. Uh, it has a single round headlight, alloy wheels, LED lighting all the way around, and riding modes. Um, one thing I didn't like, it has a big ugly radiator on it, and it comes with the typical Mickey Mouse ear mirrors, which means you're going to have to dump those and spend 100 bucks on a set of mirrors. The MSRP on the bike is supposed to fall somewhere between $12,000 and $12,700. The bike is definitely a step in the right direction, I think, for Harley as they're trying to get millennials on these bikes. And I really do like the way this, bike's, this bike looks. I can't wait to ride one. Another new release from Harley is the Pan America. Now this is Harley's attempt at getting into the adventure bike market. Now, love it or hate it, it is kind of weird looking. I do kind of like the front end. Uh, there were a lot of people standing around saying they didn't like it, but I thought it looked pretty good. I think the lighting looks pretty cool. It really reminds me of the Moto Guzzi. It's a 1250cc uh, 60 degree double overhead cam twin. Has a six speed transmission on it. Has 145 horsepower, 90 foot pounds of torque. Now Harley did put a chain on this one, which kind of surprised me. BMW has a drive shaft. I don't know if Harley's just trying to be different than everyone and put a belt on a naked sport bike and put a chain on an adventure bike as opposed to a drive shaft on the adventure bike. I don't know. I guess there again, only time will tell. We'll see. And next up is this beast here. The most controversial of the three. The Livewire electric motorbike from Harley Davidson. This machine will do zero to 60 in three seconds. It has 105 horsepower and 86 foot pounds of torque. As far as range, it is an electric vehicle. 98 miles in the city, and then they say a combined mileage of 95 miles stop and go and or highway traffic combined. So I'm not quite sure exactly what that means. As far as sitting on this thing, it actually felt pretty natural with the exception of the fact that once again, no clutch, no gear shift. It really, really is bizarre. It does feel good. It feels very, very sporty. One of the things that a lot of the motorcycles are kind of going to are these, these subscription apps. And uh, this bike is no different with that. It allows you to check your charge level and have tamper alert and stolen vehicle tracking and, and that sort of thing. So, you know, although I think the features are cool, I'm not real fond of the idea that you have to pay a subscription fee after paying $30,000 for the base model. Um, looking at the charging here, there are two methods of charging. There's the level three DC, which is what you use like when you're out and about. It is going to be available, if not already available, at every Harley dealer in the country, which is pretty nice. Uh, it takes 80% of charge will take you 40 minutes, 100% charge will take you an hour, and at night you can go the old traditional route overnight and it will be 100% charged when you get up the next morning. But anyway, that's the live wire. Love it or hate it, it is the wave of the future. He's a rider. <laughs> He's a rider. He's got way more talent than I have, I'll tell you that.
my gosh, that is insane. Speaking of iron butts, that's one thing I don't have. I find myself kind of jiggling around a lot of time to keep the old blood circulating back there, if you know what I mean. One of the things that we've noticed is that Coach Vic doesn't jiggle around. You know, being paralyzed and stuff, she doesn't know if she's developing a hot spot or a pressure sore or anything like that. So we went to this place called Butt Buffer. Um, this guy sells these uh, gel cushion uh, platform type deals that you put up on top of the seat and you sit on it. Now when I initially tried this thing out he had me sit on it. He didn't tell me there was stuff all up under it where I was sitting on this thing and he threw a set of keys on top of it. I could not tell that I was sitting on anything other than a cushion. So the amount of protection that this is going to give Coach Vic affords us a little bit more confidence as we uh, prepare for that long ride once all the craziness is over in this country. That way we don't have to worry about her developing pressure sores. And in the paralyzed world, let me tell you, that is a really big deal. So we're going to get out of here now and just sit back, enjoy the music, and enjoy the ride to Main Street and down Main Street. It's very hot. I had to take the jacket off. I was sweaty. You come off of Main Street, it dead ends into A1A, and you gotta make a right hand turn, and then you snap the old U, and then you can cruise back up to the north. Because that's where we're headed. We're gonna go north, and then we're gonna make a left turn, westbound and down, back towards Tallytown.
Every year that I come to Bike Week and I approach this bridge as I leave town, I think about something that happened quite a few years ago. That was back in my Harley days. I wore no helmet and no gear, and that really wasn't real bright. And right along here, I saw a guy lose control of his motorcycle, and he had been drinking apparently. And I don't know if he, he hit that white line there and it was slippery from the rain, and he went down and he wasn't wearing any gear. And that guy was nothing but hamburger meat. It was unbelievable that at such a low rate of speed that he did that much damage to his body. It made me start thinking about wearing my gear. So if you're not a gear guy, maybe you need to think about becoming one. Dustin's Barbecue. Time for a little grub. You ready to chuck wagon? Yes, I, yes, I am <laughs> chuck wagon. Dustin's Barbecue in Daytona. Is that bread I see? One piece. Chicken and salad. I'm doing very well today. Yes, I am. I'm doing bad. Ah, I'm a bad person. So the weather's been stellar. The food has been good. The travel's been exceptional. Now we're getting ready to load up. Take Highway 40 across the middle of the state. Really backwood. Take us back up on the, uh, on the west side of Florida. Highway 27 up through Perry, some of the places that we like to go. Uh, just real country towns, very country roads. Adds about an hour and a half to the trip. But you know what? We're okay with that. It's gonna be a beautiful ride. So we're rolling down Highway 40 and lo and behold, right behind a Can-Am Spider RT. You know, it's amazing how many of these things we actually are starting to see on the road now. I do remember years ago I'd come over to Bike Week and I wouldn't see any. Uh, then it was a handful. And now I'm starting to see quite a few. I did get to talk to quite a few people. No subscribers yet, but we look forward to that day coming real soon as well. This is a beautiful ride across the state though. So we're getting ready to cross over the bridge that goes over the St. Johns River and into Lake County. Now every time I enter Lake County, I think about a story that uh, I was told years ago. Back in the old days when Johnny Weissmiller played Tarzan, now yeah, I'm definitely showing my age, and in Lake County in Alexander Springs, they used to film episodes of Tarzan way back then around in those areas. I was told when they finished filming those movies, they just released a lot of the chimpanzees and things like that into the wild ear and that at night in these areas you can still hear them that they're still around whether that's true or not it's just old folklore you have a story you can tell someone you're in the know now we just had a couple of knuckleheads blow by us a few minutes ago on sport bikes i wonder if uh that's where the ambulance is going hopefully not um they weren't wearing any gear and like i told you earlier when you don't wear gear it gets real messy real fast and these guys were moving i want to take this opportunity to ask you to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel if you can help us there man would we really really appreciate it and we are very very grateful to our subscribers and to all of the comments that you leave they're very encouraging to us way more than you'll ever know coach vic and i love making this channel and we love putting in the time this has been a great experience for us, and we hope to be able to do this for a long, long time. Thank you so much for making this channel what it is. So we pressed on through to Perry, and stopped, and got us a little gas, and the sun is starting to go down. The bugs are getting a little heavier, as you can see on the old windscreen. The ride has been very, very smooth. We are now on the interstate for that last stretch home. It just isn't that much longer now. It's been a great trip. Wonderful time with Coach Vic and with all of the coronavirus, COVID-19 stuff going on. It just really has been a beautiful trip and a nice diversion away from all of this stuff. I pray that your family's safe and that things are going well for you. Take this time to be a little introspective and enjoy your family, enjoy yourself. Remember this, you need to take care of yourself you need to eat right. And if you're not having fun, 
You're doing it wrong. Go seize the day. We'll see you soon, baby.